higher levels. I'm finding these are not only the best, um, really, acceleration trades, but the other part about what we're looking at is lining up kind of the, the optimization of, of that quick segment of, of where to look for the opportunity uh, where we don't have to wait around, take drawdown, and we have more than just a single pattern dynamic working. Uh, this one, this is Chili's, just on a one minute. I'm going to go to the longer term in a second, but um, just know that when we have back-to-back -back patterns, here we have a bearish deep crab that has to come back, retest. I'm going to bring this back over. I think it's the screen. How's the screen working, guys? I think there's a little issue with the screen resolution. But the whole uh, thing that we're looking at, look for a bearish, and then you go bullish. Why? We're in a bullish uptrend. A lot of the, the big markets for crypto have been continuing to grind higher. Uh, let me go to longer term chart. Here's Chili's. Right, on a four-hour basis, we just continue to grind off of these lows from July. And we do it in a fashion where, I go to the hourly, you're going to see plenty of opportunities. Like, there's the last couple of situations on Chili's just in the last week. And I, I, I know I posted these earlier, but just looking at going from bullish pattern to bearish pattern back to bullish pattern we're repeating cycle to cycle thank you for letting me know about that the other thing about what we're seeing again with the automatic pattern matches with little altcoins like this is that when we get to you know what we're we're targeting our hop levels our prz's uh we i've continued to say look for bat patterns crab patterns things that pull back when this within this uptrend and the other aspect about that is when you go pattern to pattern, use the formation of the bearish pattern as an obvious profit target. Of course, these could explode and go on forever, but that's not what's really happening most of the time. Those home run scenarios are maybe one out of 50, maybe one out of 80. What you're really seeing is the, the move from your bottom hop level, no matter what the pattern is, you know, your 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 zones. Here's a, a real nice crab on the hour, or sorry, bat. There's just so many patterns there. They're just overlapping each other. But you want to focus on, say, the bat pattern on the hop levels between XA and hop. But really, I, I've said this again, with what the harmonic pattern collection is generating and spitting out, yes, it's it's um it's definitely tagging the proper minimum ideal model patterns but the optimized levels that we have with the software again are giving you that extra advantage of being able to how to judge the overspill you know that little price action that goes beyond the measured levels with confirmation so you don't get you know you don't get uh uh, drawn out, you know, you don't you don't get a a, 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 a kind of a a fake out. You're anticipating it just underneath the pattern. That's the other thing. The other thing we're seeing with the patterns is that the best opportunities are coming well after the completion. So a lot of people are asking me, well, how come the software is not putting up patterns showing them in advance? And we do have some, but the critical aspect is that. We want to wait for the pattern complete. We want to wait for those scenarios that generate confirmation and uh, expect that those larger moves come well after pattern completion. Again, we're riding strong uptrends on the longer term basis, but from a trading perspective, recognizing that fact and then recognizing the other fact that we can utilize the bearish patterns as temporary targets, back to back, just from a larger structural basis, this is giving advantages and ways to look at this crazy environment that kind of sorts through the mess. I, I always want to focus on levels, but if I am in a position 
and I run into a bearish pattern, and I'll go into an example in a second, I better be taking some profits. Let me go to something that's worked out remarkably well, which is Cardano, and continues to rock. Um, and here's something where, personally, I've been encountering, where's the, on the four-hour chart, we had some things up here. Where was it? No, hourly chart, up at around 280. We had some confirmation, 285 up in here. Again, this is something that I wanted to highlight because it's a sloppy pattern, but still is showing me where the market pauses are happening and telling me to respect the structure that even if we have a bearish pattern that gets blown out, the chances of it getting annihilated are really small. What we're seeing is really the, the pausing effect, even in... The clearest of bearish scenarios, you pause, you go sideways, and then you come back, give you a simple retracement like an ABCD here in Cardano, right at 251 at the hop level. This is on an hourly chart. So, folks, this is a nice continuation structure in Cardano relative to the daily time frame because we are poking at all-time highs. And what's going to happen here? Cordano looks like it's going to rock it and do what? A rising three methods. It's not perfect, but it's real close. Maybe like remember last week, rising six methods. Now this is all about being halfway in between our weekly extensions and recall that what we're looking for is a 1618 expansion of Cardano. That's why looking at, say, you know, short-term 30-minute, one-hour patterns like that ABCD within such a strong context is a good way to take shots at your larger targets if they've gotten away from you. I mean, there's your 1618 on Cardano is about 355, folks. Three, uh, yeah, 355. And even if you did like a 382 pullback, after that, you, you, you're going to have movement and then back up. Something like that. I would expect this to be a fast move on Cardano. Yeah, the weekly, the daily and the weekly look beautiful. Weekly's just, you know, insane. You want to go crazy? Here's the monthly. Look at the monthly, folks. What is what is that, right? That's That hasn't even started expansion, in my opinion. One way to think about this is we're going to do a 314 all time. This is revving to go. Your 314, all time 314 expansion, folks, puts you, and again, I think on this move up to around 330, 435, excuse me, it'll take time, but we've seen that. Uh, I'll look at that. I'll look at the UVX, uh, UVXY in a minute. There's a couple things I want to get to today. Crypto is top of the list because we that recent correction in the last few days, folks, that was a nice stealth opportunity. That really gave us a, a phenomenal chance. And I want to show you something, a way to look at that and a way to use the software to find those opportunities. A lot, there are a lot of things are just, they're really kind of showing their, their hand here. Cardano, whoosh, yeah. And what about next month? You know, they go to smart contracts. That's enough fuel for the fire. That's plenty of narrative. That's what you need. Bottom of my screen is not showing. Oh, let me see what's going on there. That's not right. I could have just changed that setting. Hold on. What does HOP mean? HOP means Harmonic Optimal Price. And I'll go to there, aware to learn about all of that in a second. Now, one second, folks. I just did something that screwed it up. Mm, let me put it up like that. Where's the 50 level?
Yeah, one sec. Let me fix that. I just did something. I don't. Mm. Hold on. I'm going to switch my screens. One second. Yeah, give me a second, folks. I'm going to switch. Let me jump over to e signal. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, let me do one thing here of uh, a quick review on our sc on the screener. So before I change that, so this recent correction, stealth correction, had a lot of quick, nice ABCDs, other patterns like that. Uh, what I wanted to show today, folks was just jumping over again to our screeners. This is our the new market watch for trading view. Bring that. Where'd you go? And let me do it this way. So take a look at your, your platform, and we want to introduce the Market Watch screener. So go to your Invite Only Scripts. You click on the FX button at the top, and we're going to add the watch list. Now, we want to add a few of these, and we can create a dedicated window that will you'll have to edit. We have to put them in. They go There's eight rows at a, a time. That's the maximum amount. I've been able to build a, a table, a dual table, of about 50 symbols. So I'm going to go through really quick to show you this setup and how we look at these, how to find the patterns without having to go through one by one. You know, a lot of times we just kind of rip through charts. What I want to start introducing is real direct pattern matches. Let's look exactly what's getting generated as top, uh, the top opportunities to be focusing on. So a lot of things that are developing, a lot of great opportunities, and my uh, real focus here for the next few weeks will be to uh, facilitate the optimization, to f not only to make it easier to find those, but to prioritize the best opportunities. So we'll add, just add, click on that, add one mo watch list, add a second. You can, you could close out these other screens and just run one dedicated list. Then right click on that and again you want to we're going to add and edit the symbols. Go to your inputs list and, and just click and then add each. Um, one of the things you also want to make sure is that you select the ABCDs because really what we're looking for are all pattern matches. Let me bring this up a little bit better in view. Yeah, that's not really doing it. This will do it. And this will do it just a little bit. And I'm going to switch the other window to my full screen. So once we have that input, now again, the pattern matches are going to relate to the time frame that you select on the chart. Let me improve. Let's change the background again. Depending on what it looks like, your screens, your setup, you might want to go to a light background, which I think is going to highlight the matches better. Take a look like that. And, you know, do even things like increase the text size, all of that just to make it better. A lot of the small defaults that they do with uh, on PineScript is it makes it difficult to read all of the the details. So go there, select that. Uh, let me get the grid lines out. There you go, better. And let's walk it through. So I showed you that the pattern in what we're talking about with um, Cardano. 
And if we go to our list, here's Cardano. Now, that was on an hourly. Let me, let me go back to there. Select the settings. Yeah, and, and here's the other thing I wanted to select. So we want to also have all of the patterns, as many patterns as possible. We have had to chop up the identification scanner into three sections, the small, medium, and large. The large, you're not going to find as many patterns. There are going to be several hundred bars. And again, this has been the best way for us to uh, find all of the patterns that we can because there's there are different formations and based on the script we had to write it this way what I'm gonna suggest is that if you have it set on large you're not going to get as many matches what we're really looking for are pattern completions so go to regular or go to small if you go to regular there uh, or go to small go to small here there you go That's going to bring up, should bring up, different match lists there. Let me hit refresh on that. This should be, no. One second. Okay, so here is my full scan page that I wanted to highlight. You could set them up. I showed those features, but here is the way that I've got about you know 30 different cryptos lined up on different time frames and running those scans. And again, go to the top, select, I say an hourly or 30 minute, you're going to find really solid swing patterns, and that's what we want to look for. And then we want to combine that with, say, a five-minute time frame for those trigger patterns. Let me go over to here. Go to the 30-minute. All right, great. Now, look at the, the symbol list. Look at the last, uh, this last is the last price. The pattern match, obviously, the number of bars. That means, okay, how many bars have passed since that completed? Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, it's 122 bars past the completion of the pattern. It doesn't really matter because we know that most of these, the best opportunities are taking at least 30, sometimes 50 or 60 bars in consolidation or an initial test and type 2 test before the larger moves ensue. And I'm going to show you one or two differences like that. So let's look at, here's uh, on the 30 minute, we have Ethereum, okay? And let's just go over to that chart. Right here is on Ethereum. I'll switch over to, go to that Ethereum chart. All down on 30 minute. That's a bat, and it's only completed five bars ago. Let me get the right. Coinbase feed too. So there it is. Go in a 30 minute. And let me highlight this. Hold on, folks. One more time. Ethereum, one hour time frame. <clears throat> I 
I don't know what the heck I, I just missed there. I don't know what I have. I, I had to refresh that. Let's go to Solana instead. All right, here's let's go to Solana. Why? Let's look at that. Five minute time frame, Solana, deep crab, 44 bars ago. Let's line that up. Sorry, I'm trying to not switch screens, folks, because of the YouTube presenters is screwing up my, my, uh, the resolution. So I'm trying not to switch screens. It's just a pain in the butt. And Solana. All right, that's probably even better. Five minute time frame. We know that thing has gone crazy. It's already at 84. 80 right now. The hop was 79, 80. We know that's already way off the deep crab, but look, I would look at Solana like this. We know it has a deep crab on the five minute. Chances are it's going to have to retest. There you go. Solana, five minute time frame. There it is. Here on the deep crab. And let me change the settings because I think the patterns really pop better on a black background. So go here. And I'll change it to black. And take out the grid lines. So check out the crab pattern on Solana. Once I get... The rest of my act together here, folks. I don't know what's going on. So there's the crab. Do it this way. Let's take a look at another one. Um, something we can hit for now. Let's go. Uh, and you know what? Five minute time frame. If you're looking for just an opportunity, day trading opportunity, I would look, just scan for five minutes. Let's look at the bat on BTC that just completed 54 bars ago. Uh, go over here. Yeah, that's that's the screen I wanted. I got to erase those others. Long week, folks, right? Long week. Five minute bat pattern. Oh, the other thing, remember, you might, you have to have the same data feed. So you're going to have slight Differences depending on the data feed. Yeah, I'm running everything on Coinbase. Where's Coinbase? Where'd you go, you sucker? And so you might not get the same. There it is. And there's your bat pattern. Back to back with a deep crab. Let me highlight that. Yeah, I'm going to make the lines black. I, I'm just not. Run into it today kids let's go this way and then I'll make I will switch those black those other black lines you know when sometimes your brain just can't work that's today for me thank you for that suggestion that's prettier right but now we're here with uh, let me take off Pi Phi bands. Better. All right, great. So let's walk through Bitcoin on a five minute chart. Last 24 hours. We're dealing with a type one deep crab at the moment. Preceded 58 bars ago by a bullish, cra bullish bat. All right. Am I looking for a long position up here in Bitcoin? No. But we come back, retest that bat pattern. Yeah. 
I would look at it like that. Again, a lot of the, the type 1 and type 2 scenarios that we talk about are repeating over and over again. Uh, again, I started today's session with saying, look at bearish patterns as short-term profit targets and don't ignore it. That's one of many strategies I think are helping kind of sort out through the mess because there's certainly a lot to get kind of turned around on or, or what's happening. And with the way that these markets are kind of surging and then pausing, surging and pausing, make it difficult for you to always be in front of the screen. You know, for me, that's been a, an issue where it's, I'm having, I find myself setting more and more alerts. I'm going to my screener more and more like this. And then once I line up something I like, Simply just set the set trading view alerts, you know, right click for either the line or one of the things that I'll be rolling out soon or how to set for the automatic triggers of uh, pattern completion for terminal bar for HSI. I've mentioned this. This is coming in September. A lot going on. Uh, the list, my, the, really what I've tried to nail home with the list and how to get the most of it is to break it down and look at where the pattern completes. First and foremost, that's easiest. Um, recognize some of the basic, you know, simple uh, facts that you're going to have more patterns on shorter time frames, but do recognize that you'll have more than one opportunity. So just because a pattern has been completed it's completed maybe 30, 40, 50 bars ago, there's still a relevant level there. So there's a lot, a lot of information at your fingertips available. Again, the screener and some of the other functionality that I'll be bringing into this will all be designed to come to you in an alert format. Ultimately, that's going to make everything as simple as possible. Uh, I click on, all right, here's something of interest. So I click on the four-hour time frame for this match list, and I see ICP, Internet Computer, just completed a bat pattern on the Coinbase feed three hours ago, three bars ago. So let's just take a peek at what that might look like. And we'll wrap up there, because that's, again, another way to just quickly shoot over to find those patterns that are completing or having just completed now. Uh, there's the Coinbase feed. So that was on a four hour time frame. So let's start there because I'm showing you a five minute. Let me see, was that four hour? There's a four hour Coinbase bat pattern at 51. All right, 51. Its current price is 62. So you know it's quite a distance off of there. Where did that go? Let's look. I mean, I see the structure. It's pretty clear. I don't know why it's not illustrating, though. Clearly, this is the bat. Let me take a look. It's a small one. Let me see if it's regular. Yeah, I had to refresh. All right, even on the regular size, you still have a bat. That's what, No, that's not all right. Let me update that. That does not seem... Again, we've got limitations with the Pine script. I know that, and uh, we've really pushed this as far as we can go. All right, on the hourly, it says 56 bars ago. Take a look. Well, clearly, the bat's there. I don't know why this is not populating. It's generating on the match list, but not on the, the screen. Look at some of the others. Hmm. Let me come back to that one. Um, I'll go, X yeah, I'll look at a couple more folks. XTZ, Tezos. Let's pull that up. 
Nice. There you go. Exploding. Oh, there's the uh, four hour chart. All right. Absolutely taken off. What's the daily look like? Where are we relative to that longer term time frame? Yeah, this is exactly the kind of explosions where we get a whole bunch of consolidation grinding higher and then we get these big thrusts go sideways thrust sideways that's the way this stuff is really unfolding uh one or two more i know you guys wanted those all right i'll look at etc you mentioned that a while ago this is another one does a thrust consolidation higher i don't see any problem with etc Do we, any pattern on a four hour? You're not getting a lot of patterns on the daily, but bang. Check out that one. Four hour time frame, folks. ETC, beautiful bat. Hello. Thank you. Who put that one up? CJ. Great call, man. Great call. That's a beauty. Perfect bat pattern. This is a type one. But again, coming towards the hop. That's a, that's a real sweet pattern. Now, I would expect this. Here's what we're seeing with most of these, okay? You do a, an extended kind of delayed. That's no surprise. It's an ugly bat pattern, but still works out because you, you hold the hop. You come up to target one, target two. And I'd venture to say that you know, ETC on the four hour will probably go through a little more consolidation like that. But it's poised to prop, to really pop. Because again, go to the daily. Daily super strong. You had a really nice rush. Now you do your pause. And these are the areas where we want to look for those smaller consolidation patterns. You're getting them over and over again. You're getting... You know, you get a big move, and then it, it pauses and gives you some kind of smaller time frame pattern, and then explodes again, like in there or in here, and goes again. Now, where's HSI in all of this? Your indicators are still trending a little bit lower. That's a daily time frame, though, so it would be quite a big move once that completes, it's it's in a good spot. And like I said, a lot of these, the most recent pullback in the last 48 hours really let a lot of air out of the tires, if you will, to where these things can run again. And I'll show you one or two more. Uh, engine. Okay, doesn't look like much on that daily, but go to the hourly. Go to the four hour. Uh, four hour. A lot of HSIs on the four hour. Um, this one had, where's it? A lot of these have like bat and crab patterns all over the place. There you go. There's engine. Now this is a type two. You got, here's engine on a 30 minute. Right off the top with a crab and a bat pattern. And here's how we know it's in a better position than most. Because it did your type one move up to target one. Comes back. All the way back down. Almost a yeah, perfect retest of the hop. And then back up again. And now this is the point where we look for it to really explode. That's exactly what we're seeing with standard uh consolidation phase, standard reaction reversal framework. And uh, again, that's that's where I would be favoring something like engine. If you wanted to see that thing continue the longer term trend, it would be after that secondary test. Great spot. One or two more. Okay, yeah, storage. Uh, just another one. Grinding. Thrust, pause, grinding, thrust. You know, there you go. This is that's just a 30 minute time frame and check it out. Look at all those patterns. 
crab pattern up to here, come back down, retest the shark, go again. This is what I'm talking about. It takes a little while. I'll jump deer and I'll jump to UVXY in a second. I'm going to jump over to U-Signal. But this is what I'm talking about. And if you go to storage on the, the longer term time frame, you're really not going to see that. It's going to look, you know, oh, that's just straight up. But if you break that down into, say, 30-minute time frame intervals, even five-minute time frame intervals, there's a lot of action swing up and down. How do I get the hop? The hop is an automatic pri proprietary level. It's different for every pattern. It's um, in the same way we differentiated the patterns themselves. We differentiated these hop levels, and they serve as the as the make or break overspill area for the opportunity. And I have been favoring the hops. It's uh, it's a couple of things. It's a fib. It's a it's an alternate calculation it's it's the optimization of like two or three variables all right i don't know what slp usd is and and i don't really no, normally go like with that i don't know i really hopefully it's something i can't get it. it's on yeah again didn't we we talked about this before ali it's a big bat it's a big bat on the daily where's your confirmation it's about to go What's the four hour time frame? Hasn't triggered yet. 14 cents? No, pretty much if you were looking at this for a while, you want to be getting it soon. Maybe not entirely there yet. Give it a little time. Almost ready. I mean, hey, that's just, that's like all of them. I think that just needs a little bit more time. But sure, 14, 13 cents. Give me 50,000 and let it 3x, 5x, something like that. And that's really what we're doing here. Uh, all right, Hex, because, yeah, it's been impressive. Whatever he's doing, he's doing a good job of it. Hex. U. S. D. I can't, I know it's only on a couple of these. 20 and change. Yeah, why not? Why not just do another 1618? Hex goes to 27 cents. You have a crab formation. You don't really have much in the way of, it's kind of a thin, not as actively traded, but just throw a 1618. 30 cents and change. 29, something like that. No, this is, um, folks, this is for the harmonic pattern collection that we're doing today uh, is for TradingView, and it's for all markets. So let's go over to a couple other markets quickly. Uh, really quick, NASDAQ, say goodbye. Say goodbye. And just that we are going, we've just entered into a new phase. Okay. Oh, my goodness. One second, folks would really help. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, f I forgot that it was still long. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> See, this is what happens. This is why I'm, I'm long 10 from this morning and I forgot to move my stops. I'm still long. It's, uh, I'm going to ride it to the close. Um, today's a, a big breakout, and Nasdaq's plus 160 today, breaking out to an all-time new highs. I've been saying this for a while. We are now incredibly on a four-hour chart. This is Nasdaq NQ. Let me just blow it up. We generated a bullish ABCD, and this comes in the wake of after we are failing all of the bearish possibilities at 15,000 now. Looks like that. We even have it on the daily. It's let me let me highlight this. We had an ABCD, much the same algorithms um that that are getting generated on all platforms. Do it this way. All right. 
So that was our hop level. You did. Thank you. Thank you, Sharad. I'm really, I'm, I'm serious. I totally forgot I was long. I totally forgot I was long. So we continue higher. We broke the 15,000 and we're doing it in demonstrative fashion, which is what should be happening. This should not be a grind. This should be an explosion. And probably for the next three weeks. Uh, take this into September, right up to October, but much higher levels. I don't even think we're, you know, we're dealing with measurements anymore other than psychological 16,000, 18,000, 20,000. At this point, you've, you violated everything measured, and what comes next is just pure discovery. I mentioned this to our gold members in the beginning of the week, and there's been times throughout history, long-term market breakouts, where you are in total price discovery, and you will remain in price discovery until you form a bearish pattern, of form a complex bearish scenario well above these levels. That's how this works. We were two of two on our weekly scenarios, everything that we have been assessing for a long time. There's your PRZ. We even have, look, on the weekly time frame, we're even checking back. We had an HSI signal that generated, but we're, we are, we're just expanding into the extreme. We continue to go higher. So folks, that's what's going to transpire. And we've also seen this, and let me switch over to the other platform. Where to go? Let's go to the e-signal platform now. Here you go. Oh, beautiful. There's the one minute. And Q chart. Oh, we just completed that crab pattern. Hold on. Hold on one second. 36, 30. How many am I still long? Wait, I'm long 10, folks. I'm long 10 NQs. And I just missed this because it's now going to do a type 1. So this was for me earlier today. Just to show you. Uh, on the 5 minute, it was 233 tick. Well, five minute this morning, HSI was amazing. Let me show you that. Uh, we had this. So that little arrow was our five minute HSI signal from this morning. That was one of the, the early triggers. And then... After that move, go to the one minute time frame here. There you go. After that mid morning move, check this out. Come on back here. Perfect. There it is. Shark right down to target one with HSI. Basically, this becomes a 5.0. It really didn't paint out as a 5.0. Um, but all day, this has been a nonstop just reaction and then follow through with the reversal. Again, another intraday here. I don't expect anything more than a oh, type 1 pullback. I'll ride this out. I mean, I've got enough space here, but go type 1 pullback. And then for the rest of the day, Come off that level and go again. Get back up to, I expect the market to be above 15,440 by 4 o'clock, or if not higher, probably close at all-time highs for the day. Just really nice. I don't know what's going on with my screen resolution. I apologize. But I'll keep on that. Look, that pink arrow and a lot of the stuff that everyone's looking at, these are proprietary triggers that I've built into the patterns. So you guys know how long I've been at this. This is my whole life. The, the patterns, 
that I spent 10, 15 years refining, optimizing. We've now taken into the software over the last 15 years beyond that with trying to create as many clear, actionable, automated setups as possible with really easy levels to respond to. That's what we do with the cryptos on the TradingView platform. This is eSignal. This is probably uh, next to Bloomberg, probably the most professional um, professional software charting you can use. But all the algorithms are the same, so you guys can get the TradingView platform with all this technology built into it and just get used to the levels. Here we go. As I just said, we're coming down for target one. Look at what's going on. Here's target one hitting our target one level. Sure, you could be um, short, perfect little day trade, but that's all it is. It's just a reaction. And I'm already long this. I'm gonna. I'm riding this as a longer term trade for today. Where maybe I'll even add more. Once this triggers off a of target one, yeah, hitting oversold across the board. that I would expect this to be at least 20, 25 higher by today's close. And a lot of people, yeah, and the folks here in the chat that know. Uh, most of you folks that are in here, I know you guys, and I don't know uh, most of you actually, which is great. It was the way I want it. Because then we really know we're, we are breaking through. Um, everybody that's um, really using the program Everybody that's been working with it, even if it's only been for a few weeks, know how powerful the levels are. The thing that I can suggest is that you spend a little bit of time taking a look at our resources and getting used to the reaction reversal concept. I'm going to leave it right here for NASDAQ for right now because we're in a reaction right now. And you could trade that as a bearish short-term intraday trade, pretty clear. But I also know that that's only a short-term reaction. It fits the way that fits within our strategies, reaction reversal strategies. That also helps us to know which way the market's going throughout the day. And that's, that's kind of built into the whole larger framework of everything that we do. So where to get this? And uh, the best place to start, and I'm going to, let me jump back over and let's go back to the TradingView platform. That way I can go to the website. Oh, come on. No. Hold on. Not sure why. Bear with me one second. This has been great. Sorry. No, I can't get back to it. I'm not going to try to. All right, let me go back to the e-signal chart itself. Don't know why that's doing it to me, but um, go to Harmonic Trader, folks. You guys know where I'm at. Just sign up for the basic membership. Uh, the links will be on this uh, information sheet on my channel, and I will get more information out on Twitter once I tweet this. So again, a lot there, a lot to consider with all of the tools. The, the thing is, take the free trial. Do not subscribe until you have taken the free trial. Uh, really important. Remarkably important. That's why uh, I think it's critical that everyone signs up as a basic member first, study the material, especially if you're new to this, and access the tools free, and then within a few weeks you know what you're doing. Yeah, I probably do have to log again. It's, it's, uh, it's just definitely... Um, you know, the setup that I've had. So uh, actually, it's not bad, though, that I'm showing you exactly what I was talking about with the type 1 correction on this uh, crab pattern. And act, here is probably an even better setup. We call this a type 2 return. Why? 
reaction's almost over, and here's your bullish pattern developing. That's in the blue. That's a potential pattern. So I'd probably look for this return from 14, uh, 15, 420, all the way back to 44. Uh, you tried the free trial. Nobody replied to your email. Did you send the email to the right person? Because everything is available on the basic member page. The, all of that information. And if you didn't, um, send it to me at harmonictrader at gmail. Yeah, I, I all I could say, the only thing I could think is maybe your email got blocked or something, got sent to a spam folder, and I'll go check. But pretty much we're, we're really diligent on following up with everybody. So if there was an issue, you can contact me, send me harmonictrader at gmail, and I, I will personally follow up on that. Yeah, all the information is on the basic members page. I do that because it's important to sign up as a basic member first. That's what I have for today, folks. Really appreciate it. I'm going to figure out what's going on in this resolution, but uh, come back next Friday. We'll have more fun. Have a great week. Really, uh, you know, stay well. Stay focused on these markets. It's going to get very interesting. And look for the cryptos to really pop in the next week.